What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about future events we have learned of due to this massive audio leak which was data mined from the PC version of Destiny 2 late last night. Events which we thought were scrapped, events Bungie have mentioned won't return and much much more. But before we get into that people I am giving away epic loot on this video. I have exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and more. To win some simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. Ok so let's start. Now Bungie have already confirmed one event coming and that is the Dawning, a popular Destiny 1 event which offered some seriously interesting looking loot. They confirmed this at TwitchCon and the loot it seems to offer will be just as promising and just as epic looking as what we saw within Destiny 1. But what else is in the works? Well according to this audio leak there are plenty of events coming, even events Bungie have dismissed when asked which is weird, but we will talk about that later. It's really important though to state before we go any further into the video and taking on board what I state, although these audio files are 100% legit and are taken from the game, it doesn't necessarily mean they will ever be used, they could be just placeholders. I had people on my video yesterday stating that these were nothing but leftover code from Destiny 1. I'd counter that claim with, these ain't code from an old game, these are ripped audio files, new audio files from a new Destiny 2 game on PC which never had a Destiny 1 coding in place to begin with. These audio files are 100% new audio files taken from the game and no doubt will be used sometime in the future according to the events they represent. Ok so we have the mention of Dawning which is known already, so what else? Well there's something Bungie have denied was ever going to happen within Destiny 2 and that is the Festival of the Lust, the Halloween event. Although Bungie said it ain't happening, there's always next year and remember guys Bungie have lied to us before, never forget that. So these audio files state, the first by Hydeo of the new monarchy, he states the festival of the lust is upon us guardians and there is another person who I don't know who states this, nice costume by the way, oh wait are you really a guardian? So audio files are here but like I said that doesn't mean the event is coming, like I said they could be just place holders. The next event which are numerous audio files covering and that is Crimson Days. This crucible event was originally a Valentine's event back in Destiny 1 where Guardians would pair up and participate in doubles PvP game modes to win some exclusive loot from this event. Now there are 8 audio files which I have found which all mention Crimson Days as an event we are taking part in. So no doubt in my mind sooner or later this event will come back. Here are a few examples of the audio from Hydeo of the new monarchy. He states Crimson Days of the Panos Guardian, joyous Crimson Days to you Guardian and like new monarchy the Crimson Days celebrates unity. All faction vendors actually have voice lines referring to this event so no doubt in my mind it will return sometime obviously near Valentine's. Another event I'm pretty sure we all knew would return and it's actually mentioned a lot within these audio files and that is Sparrow Racing League. The amount of context here is astounding, I've counted maybe 20 audio files referring to the Sparrow Racing League, also the mention of Marcus Wren who is a hunter who became legend in the last city due to his skills in the Sparrow Racing League. So yep I can pretty much say for certain that Sparrow Racing League will be returning sometime or another. Ok so the last thing I want to mention here is the Prison of Elders. Now this actually wasn't an event but it was part of a Destiny 1 DLC. This again though has been mentioned by Bungie as not making a return to the game or they have no current plans for it. But if they have no current plans for it, why is their 10 plus audio files all referring to the Prison of Elders and our battle within the prison? Here are a few examples from Hydeo of the new monarchy. He states the following, so you've been fighting in the reef's prison again. He also states, do you truly understand the dangers you face in the prison guardian? Again he states, what treasures have you found stashed in the prison? Now these are three of many audio files referring to the prison of elders and the reef, some of which even mention Vavix too. Now me personally I'm kind of in two minds about the prison and whether it should return or not and whether I'd actually welcome it. The first prison of elders was seriously underwhelming in my opinion but in saying that it could be made to be great for sure. 
And the way Destiny 2 is at the moment and how dry it is, I'd probably welcome it to play. Destiny 2 for me is just currently so so boring, it's unbelievable. And an event like this or a DLC like this or Prison of Elders would go great, it seriously would. Although the POE did get pretty boring pretty quick, with a few simple mechanic changes put in place, I think it would change that. But what do you guys think? Would you welcome back the Prison of Elders with basic changes? Or do you think it would need a complete revamp? Let me know down below within that comment section. Also, let me know what you think about the other events I've covered today. Crimson Days, the Festival of the Last, the Dawning, and Sparrow Racing League. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.